It's your boy Ningun in the house, back with another Arsenal news episode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to share with you uh, the latest Arsenal news that is up on the mix, and I'm going to give you my views about it. So, pretty much simple. What are we going to discuss in this episode? Well, according to a certain source, uh, what how Arsenal are going to uh, uh, are at Arsenal signing uh, signing a new manager or they're signing which players? What exactly are the targets? What exactly has Stan Kroenke probably opened up to? Episode. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end, and make sure you subscribe because if you seek daily Arsenal content, this transfer window is one of the best and the one of the biggest in terms of Arsenal's future is concerned. Because no European football, and most importantly, the fight is on for uh, the top six or rather top four, whatever that is. So it would re require a big amount of financial, uh, financial, uh, uh, yeah, help. So moving on. So according to Mark Irvine, he actually uh, uh, gives us the news that. Arsenal are staring at a worrying financial situation, yet Kroenke will still sanction the signing of two or three big players this summer as part of a campaign to win over the fans protesting against his continued ownership. Stan Kroenke and technical director Edu remain convinced Arteta is the right man to lead the club back to the big time, but if the team is still mid-table by the end of the year, then Arteta will be replaced. Depending on outgoings, uh, Arsenal are expected to be on the hunt for two new fullbacks another centre forward and a central midfield player in the summer transfer window. Arteta is understood to retain the support of the club's executives KSE, have given uh, indications that they are willing to invest in the team this summer when more departures are expected from Arsenal's squad. So, why, am I, why have I put up this Bisuma image? Well, here we go, because according to the Express Sport or Express Sport to be fair, uh, Mikel Arteta is understood to be closer than most in the race to sign Eve Bissouma services with Tottenham, West Ham and Everton also having made inquiries about the youngster. It looks like Arsenal are the closest to get the deal done. So Arsenal determined to keep faith with Arteta despite for the first time missing out of European qualification since 1995. Owners Stan Kroenke and Edu are convinced that Arteta is the guy. So... Let's see how things will turn out to be because uh, if you look at the state, because the, because the Europa League semi-final exit leave Arsenal staring at a worrying financial situation after reporting a 47.8 million pound annual loss in March, yet Kroenke will still sanction the signing of two or three big players. And also, Arteta on Arsenal probably not having European football next season. He, he says, we have some really good examples with the team in this country that have been out of Europe. And that was a defining moment in that project to go on and be much stronger <clears throat> we have to look at that what at what happened there to understand how we can make the most of it we cannot be crying and stuck on what we don't have we have to see what we do have and maximize it to get what we want so talking about the fans Arteta said they have been incredible with the team and incredible with me since I arrived and I have to show my appreciation first of all I know the disappointment we are here to give them joy to give them moments where they can feel proud of what we do we were able to do that last season, we haven't this season, we are the ones who have to give them something to cheer about. I think it is a moment to do something for them. <clears throat> also, Arteta says, we have not been competing with the top clubs in this country for five years. It is not as this as if this process started six months ago. It started five years ago and you can see this trend this year is not year one. I think a project has its phases. And I'm telling you, you are in, in a much better position today to be where we want to be very soon. If we do what we have, have to do, but we have to be ruthless, there is no time to waste. There is a lot to do. <clears throat> so a draw for Arsenal under 23 with match with West Ham United under 23-2-2 with Dobeko and LMB score for United for West Ham and Arsenal do smaller than Taylor Hart. Make sure that uh, they don't get relegated out of the Premier League too. Yes, that is that. So, Joe Willock is the first Newcastle player to score in four consecutive Premier League matches since Papi Cisse in April 2020, 2012. He scored in six games. While at 21 years of age, he's overtaken Andy Cole as the youngest player to do so for the club. Super clutch from Joe Willock scoring tomorrow, yesterday as well. And he's the one, he's the man for Newcastle to prevent them from relegation and most importantly 
well it looks like according to a report from evening standard well it looks like Mikel latter has urged arsenal to make thursday's exit from europe a defining moment in the rebuild and says they cannot be crying and stuck on what we don't have <sighs> he says we have to look at what happened there to understand how we can make the most of it we cannot be crying and stuck on what we don't have we have to see what we do have and maximize it to get what we want okay agreed so he said that first of all i want to share the pain that we are all feeling they have been incredible with the team and incredible with me since i arrived the owners i have to show my appreciation first of all i know that disappointment we are here to give them joy the fans up sorry of course it's about the fans okay so moving on about it so this is the leaked image of arsenal's away kit for the new season manufactured by adidas which will be launched in july 2021 according to footy headlines this is how it looks like plain bland and uh, reminds you of the older days because of the crest yeah that is a very beautiful crest i think it uh, gets us back to the roots love it but yeah that is that but my advice is don't buy it until unless you see arsenal owners spending okay so we saw uh, from one source that uh, san cronky is about to spend as i already mentioned in the last episode that was yesterday from sami mogbal that cronkies will make funds available so let's see where arsenal and arteta will end up but as it stands it looks good it looks good so former liverpool star makes big arsenal claim about mikel arteta and pierre emerick obamayang so former liverpool star john barnes says that arsenal will be much better next season because the players still back mikel arteta after he won a standoff with pierre emerick obamayang this year barnes says the players have to do what mikel arteta says the arsenal players are still playing for him and he's not under pressure on in a situation where the players might absolve themselves of responsibility and feel that they don't have to perform arteta had a standoff with pm rick obamayang which he won after dropping him and not playing him so maybe obamayang will now see things differently and do what the manager says to help them we'll see a much better arsenal next season it's hard to say whether obamayang will leave because to get the money that he wants with a transfer fee too the best clubs don't build their teams around one player unless it is lionel messi and or cristiano ronaldo there's nobody like them around it happens in smaller teams like aston villa and jack grealish and this is a very good point actually but yes there was a stand off or would you want to say something like a mexican stand off if at all you're interested in those kind of comments but still i i don't think so it was a bigger stand off but i i admire mikel arteta to stand up to that because that i mean those sort of things were not uh, you know possible with unai emery you know the jaka situation that happened the crystal palace situation so we have an alpha here a kind of an alpha here so let's see if he wants he'll get it done let's see where we end up with this one moving on so germain ginas delivers a blunt verdict on arsenal and mikel arteta's europa league exit now arsenal are ninth in the premier league we all know it but germain ginas ha- says that he does not feel there has been any improvement at arsenal under mikel arteta because of the, their position in the league maybe there are lots of things that german german genas would have considered he says i think if you speak to most arsenal fans they know exactly where they are and what their demise has been over the years and it has been a gradual decline over a period of time that has got them to where they are now there hasn't been any improvement if i'm being totally honest in the performances since mikel arteta took over their league position tells you that quite clearly but the question is what do you do do you sack the manager and bring someone in who you think will have a better playing style and get better out of the players he has or you are going to heavily invest in this group of players which i am not sure they have. they can to be honest they are players who have performed well on loan players like maitland niles joe willock and i'm sure arsenal fans will hope players like willock and reese nelson will do well next season but i don't know where arsenal will be next season i really don't so so he says that it was really hard to even pinpoint what arsenal were doing at times about the second leg he says I thought Villarreal got the better of them tactically. I thought they were a better side over both the legs. I thought Arsenal were fortunate to get a penalty in the first leg, but they were given a lifeline, and I expected uh, it to all come out in that game. I expected them to really put Villarreal under a lot of pressure for the whole of game. I listened to Mikel Arteta from a managerial point of view. You can sympathize with his view that he may have had the players, but they weren't at their best. But 
they were weren't up against a top top side they hardly laid a glove on Villarreal and i was as confused as most arsenal fans at the end of that game as to what i saw so with this i would like to end this episode thank you so much for tuning in if you see daily arsenal content best place to be consider subscribing i will see you in the next one cheers